into the Spike Lee. We're going to run out of time if we don't get into this. So uh, he's a film director and a New York Knicks super mm. fan, and he opened up about his issue with the team's owner. Uh, he joined First Take and said, quote, I'm being harassed by James Dolan. I don't know why. So these comments came after a video was posted of Spike <laughs> seemingly being denied entry into Madison Square Garden ahead of Monday's game. Uh, fans were speculating if James Dolan was trying to keep Spike out. Uh, he And now Spike Lee said he's no longer going to be attending any games for the remainder of the season. But then the Knicks released a statement, and I'm going to read it for you all. Read it that says, thing, Devin. <laughs> oh, God. I read love that this thing. statement. It has just the right amount of sex. So mm. it says, the idea that Spike Lee is a victim because mm. we have repeatedly asked him to not use our employee entrance mm -hmm. and instead use a dedicated VIP entrance, which is used by every other celebrity who enters the garden, Preach. is laughable. It's disappointing that Spike would create this false controversy to perpetuate drama. He's welcome to come to the garden anytime mm. via the VIP or general entrance, just not through our employee entrance, which is what he and Jim agreed to last night when they shook hands. Shook hands, and you got caught on the MSG board, so you can't say it didn't happen, Spike. For the first time in my history of being a Knicks fan, I'm taking James Dolan's side on this one because this, Spike, like, you were being moved from the employees' <laughs> entrance to the VIP entrance. You spoiled, I, I, Spike. I love your movies. I love who you are. I love what you've done for the Knicks. But this, one, I cannot side with you on this one. Like, the fact that what we talking about. A entrance again? <laughs> like this is it's so frustrating. Not again. Again. And then and then had the again. audacity knowing what it was gonna do for our team. After we got our first win under Leon Rose, our rookie looking like the guy that we all knew he was gonna be, you had the audacity to go on the Mickey Mouse Club ESPN to drop oh. all this knowledge, to drop Mickey all this Mouse stuff. Club. <laughs> Where's his checks? Let me see the checks. Three, well, Let me see his checks. You can see the checks that he's written. He should be part, like, running half the stadium or no, whatever. He, should he not. has paid $300,000 a year. That's insane. And he has been a season ticket holder for 10 or 30, 30 years. But he even told but he has his own volition. $10 but Brit, million dollars this Brit, man has spent. Brit, and you can't. And Brit. you guys have already, the whole point is they already scanned his ticket in. So I'm like, and they already let him go up to the fifth floor. Because I've been to Madison Square Garden. I know there's different levels. Right. I went one time to a game and then went down two floors and went to a boxing match. You know, there's tons of things going on in this place at yep. one time. For you guys to scan his ticket, let him up, and then once he's coming out of the elevator, oh, no, now you have to come back down, go around. Like, that's, just let me in today. Like, I'm already and here. That's I'm what walking this in. Is. Why not just let the man in? Like, that and is that's so what petty. this is. It's not petty. It is petty. If the statement oh said God. it itself that they have told him for weeks and months that you need to use this new entrance. And that's a, what they but, said, and that is not what he said. So you're just taking somebody's whatever. And your organization isn't, like, the best at being, uh -oh. like, honest with everybody. Leon Rose's well, been there for everybody. one day. Uh-oh. This is Leon Rose who <laughs> said it. Leon Rose wanted to make the statement. He's been there for one day, here. and he said... <laughs> so how does he know that they've been telling somebody something for months? Because he's, he's the one, one cracking day. down the like. This is what how it's going to be. VIPs come through here. You're not employed. <laughs> you're not under our check. You and guys like come said, Stop being his, a baby his, about it. If his check to get his tickets is one day late, they blow it. But that's the other thing too. So why he is not even paying for no. his tickets. All right. He got he got a connect. <laughs> that's get him the tickets. He's been getting that connect for as many years as he's been going. But and he even told on himself in ESPN saying that, and then he had to try to backtrack that part too. Look, I love Spike. This isn't. Even, I just hate this that you went to ESPN <laughs> knowing what this was going to do, and here we are talking about it, Spike. Okay, so I'm not. I'm not. I would, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I would be mad too because he's one of the few people that has always been with the Knicks forever, and you just don't treat your exceptionally loyal fans like that because the Knicks haven't been it as you know for a long time. So like, imagine like being shit on for like <laughs> one little like. Just let the man through. It's not that big of a deal. But, like, it really no, wasn't that big of a but deal. But what if, what if the Knicks are, tell, are telling the truth? What if they've been telling him for weeks and he just hasn't but the been thing doing is, it? But yeah. Jackie, what you want to understand is that statement is so preposterous to believe because the Knicks telling the truth and people will be like, yeah, the Knicks? <laughs> There's right. no way. I don't no, so that's I the thing. That. I'm agreeing with you, but okay. the thing is that no one's going to buy that because it's the Knicks. But the thing. Well, I you know, you, your uh, reputation precedes you, you know, and that's their But the this reputation. is the same thing I said about the Browns. The same thing 
with uh, oh, Charles Oakley, like oh, that already puts you in a place where it's just like. See, and this is what I'm oh, talking about. Nope, this I don't what I'm believe anything about. Dolan says because you Charles can't Oakley clump played. The same two he wasn't things. a fan. He actually was an employee. He played for the team for ten years. But that, and, like everybody loves this the, man. It's and not the same thing. The it's not the same thing because that one was. That's all James Dolan's. Pe- that is but all James Dolan. But I'm saying his reputation precedes him. Like he has already done stuff. Negative two, yes, employees, yes, yes. guys that have like that's been James Dolan though. For the thing. This okay. is the, this is Leon Rose's no, statement he of the mix. Spike Lee's interaction was with Dolan yesterday. Shaking hands, buddy, buddy, saying like, "Oh my bad, bro. I'll listen to your new rules. I'm sorry." But then I had the audacity to come on the the, the uh, ESPN he today. Has, he can still it. tell his story just because I'm like I can be amicable with somebody and still not agree with what happened the day before. That's why we having this, this passionate conversation about the Knicks. That's the most I beautiful thing that I have seen in a long time. <laughs> I wish it was talking about basketball this passionate for the, the Knicks. Knicks well, the Rockets, ha- two-game winning it streak. It is what it is. RJ Barrett, my boy, keep doing your thing. Yeah, yeah keep I'm, doing I'm, your I'm thing. I'm done giving Spike Lee my energy. We, well, sorry.